So there is a one tool in Photoshop that I used a lot and that's Blur. So we got to use Blur to create a simple poster design using Adobe Photoshop. So if you guys love designing and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please do subscribe. And that turns to cover, so without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here we go and we're in Photoshop and we're gonna use a very simple tool that is Blur to create a poster in Photoshop. So let's get it started. So very first thing, let's uh, create a work cam and for that press Ctrl and N. And I'm going for 4x5, resolution to 300, color mode to RGB, bitrate to 8 and let's, let's change the bitrate to 16 and let's keep everything as default and let's click on create. And then right after that, the very first thing is let's drag and drop this player image right over here. Yes, let's make it a little bigger. Control T. Yep, just like that. Maybe some more bigger. Yep, something like that. Let's press Enter. And let's add a hue and saturation. Maybe let's drop down the saturation all the way to minus 100. Let's add a curve. Let's make it darker. And let's click on that layer max, go to brush and with a black color selected, let's remove some of these parts from here. Just like so. And then let's create a one more layer. Go to brush and let's go for a white color and let's add some soft glow right around here and again go to filter let's go to blur let's add some gaussian blur just like so and maybe let's keep it right around here and now let's create a one more layer and right click create clipping max and let's add some soft glow so here we go and let's change the blending mode to screen and again let's go to filter and let's add some blur let's add some gaussian blur and maybe let's drop it down a little bit yep somewhere around here go over here let's add a rectangle and let's change the fill to kind of darker color let's add one rectangle right around here and let's select the rectangle go to filter and let's go to blur and let's add some caution blur again let's rasterize the layer let's add a few right around here control T let's move it a little down maybe let's add a little rotation just like so and maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit yep and now let's create a new layer go to brush and let's go for kind of similar darker color and let's add some dark right over here and let's uh, make it darker on this side too so let's create a one more layer just just like so and maybe let's drop down the opacity a little bit here we go and now let's add a text so let's see 2023 let's change the font to let's go for this one Let's change the color let's give it a kind of more vibrant orange color just like so control T let's make it a little bigger let's keep it right around here and let's make a copy control J let's go to filter let's go to blur and let's add a motion blur and let's rasterize this layer 
and let's uh, drop down the distance maybe something like that let's make a one more copy Control J go to filter again let's go to blur and let's add a motion blur again and this time let's increase this one now let's make a one more copy Control J go to filter let's go to blur and let's add some Gaussian blur just like so and let's change the blending mode to screen and let's move this layer under this one again uh, let's create a layer max go to brush and let's make that randomize a little bit let's remove some of these parts from here just like so let's drop down the opacity a little bit just like that and then let's change the blending mode to screen and let's move it under this one here we go and let's uh, keep this text inside a group Control G let's rename it as a text and let's move it down a little bit just like so and then uh, let's create some pattern so let's go over here let's draw a line just like so let's make a copy Control J let's move it on this side I'm just going to make some random pattern so let's move it right around here and let's make a one more copy Control J Control T let's move it right around here and then let's move this on this side to more toward here and let's keep this inside a group control G let's rename it as a line and then let's make a one more copy let's uh, turn that visibility off for now and let's convert this as a smart object and then let's add a color overlay let's make it white and let's go to filter let's go to blur let's add some Gaussian blur just just like so control T let's make it a little smaller let's keep it all the way to the bottom maybe somewhere around here and let's add a one more text control T let's move it right around here control T let's make it a little smaller and then let's change the color to white and let's change the color of this one to maybe kind of similar orange color and let's keep it just above this hue and saturation let's make it some smaller yep just like so let's move it a little down and let's add some other text add some logos right around here and let's keep it under this hue and saturation control T let's keep it maybe somewhere in the center somewhere around here let's move it down a little bit And then let's add some text on the bottom. And then let's drag and drop this Nike logo right over here. Ctrl 
control T let's make it a little smaller let's keep it right around here and let's do a final color touch up so select this image uh, let's go to filter let's go to camera raw filter and for this one let's drop down the highlights let's increase the shadows uh, let's increase the clarity let's increase the texture and then let's see yep let's drop down the contrast a little bit and let's increase the shadow some more yep just like that and let's click on ok and let's add a texture on very top so let's drag and drop this texture and very top and let's change the blending mode to soft light Control t let's make it a little smaller let's add a rotation maybe let's make it some more smaller enter and let's drop down the opacity a little bit just like so and yep that's the final and i hope you guys learned something new from this tutorial and i'll see you on next video till then you guys take care be safe and be creative bye bye